Alain McGree Starrett of Rockport is an artist who began raising the alarm of the harm we are doing to our environment 20 years ago with her series called Without Just Grounds. The series depicts human-sized wildflowers painted with acrylic on canvas, towering over a photo montage of compromised landscapes. We met Elaine at her home and she talked about her artwork and told us why artists need to raise their voices about the climate crisis here on Everything We Do Matters. I think everybody in the arts has an opportunity to say something with their work about climate change. I decided to start these paintings after I graduated from art school and I was looking at the conditions that I saw on Cape Ann. I was influenced by a journalist in the Gloucester Daily Times. His name is Jim Munn who um, put the idea in my head of think globally and act locally. He was writing about Cape Ann and how it needed more protection. Then I drove around myself and noticed examples of neglect and really thoughtless actions that I knew jeopardized our immediate environment here. I recorded them in a provocative way with photo collage a way that might cause a viewer to look more closely at the situation. I lived across the street from Doctor's Run. That beautiful hill where the doctors used to travel in order to reach their patients on the other side of the Cape was stripped of its trees. And huge houses were put up in there and I'm Happy for the people who live there. I'm sure there's a wonderful view, but I did miss that forest. When I had that experience, I made a painting of wildflowers that would be likely to grow there. On the way, I used to walk up there and see them on the way to the quarry, which of course was no longer available to us. And that's what was happening in Rockport and in Gloucester that I saw. Whole hillsides of trees were being wiped out in order to make room for something commercial or large homes. I decided to use wildflowers who are very small and they're very innocent and they go unacknowledged very often, but they're part of our environment. I hope people will look at the artwork and see something that they might be able to do, is pointing out the situations on Cape Ann of devastation. And I have the wildflowers watching in the painting while you react to the presented situation of devastation. Climate change is with us and it's going to increase unless we take some radical actions and after years of thoughtless human encroachment here on Cape Ann, that's a quote from the journalist Jim Munn, I decided I couldn't really personally propose laws and pass them or punish people for wrongdoing, but I could try to raise the awareness of the impact of human encroachment. The way we treat our local environment does affect its good health, its good health and ours. We can choose to contribute in a negative way by making poor, often selfish choices. But if the insults to the Cape Ann environment go unchecked, we need to ask how will this affect the ocean, the rivers and the marshes we love? and as a result, our climate. I think where the government comes to work in this is looking at our own towns and their zoning laws. Our local laws affect the environment through local land use, such as excessive tree removal, because trees sequester carbon 
And then there's the loss of wildlife habitat that contributes to climate change. The loss of recreational areas is a quality of life issue. Increased asphalt means more water runoff, losing groundwater and drinking water, and it's no help to the ocean. We know that more roads means more cars and more pollution. And it's such a small island for such large houses that are being built. So we need some protection from that. I think art artists are in a position to change attitudes. And I think the attitudes are too well established, you know, to just go your own way and do your own thing. And the artists can reach people emotionally. I would like to see more artists take a stand on the climate and the environment. We know that everything in nature is connected. So artists can inspire others with photography, visual evidence, music, songs, a horror story. They are not hard to find in the changes to our oceans, for example. So we could create attention to young people, involve them, sponsor a play or musical or a puppet show for the young, showing what they can do for their home, the earth. Mm -hmm.